What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I want to apologize for last week. I didn't make a video because I was sick. I had a fever. I was tired. I was cold. I was everything you not want to be to make videos. So I didn't make a video. I'm still a little bit sick right now on Sunday, but I, I feel like I can't miss two uploads. I was doubting if I would make a video this week and if I just didn't upload because not much has happened. The new bike didn't came in, the parts for the seat for the Brixton didn't came in and I was like what video am I gonna make if I don't have parts or a new bike. When it was Saturday I was still not feeling good so I don't, didn't want to make a video and now it's Sunday and I thought hey I have to do something something to make a video for Friday because I don't want to miss two uploads in a row that would not be good for the YouTube algorithm. So here we are we're gonna work on the Brixton again what are we gonna do? We're gonna put on this cap and we're gonna put on the passenger foot packs. As you know the bike is sold it's going to a different owner and the new owner wants the the wind cap on the front of it and I'm gonna put on the foot packs because maybe the person wanna carry somebody around and if the original I make one of my I wanna make the bike as original as it was uh, of course the exhaust I cannot uh, they, they want the, the new exhaust the loud exhaust I cannot put the stickers back on but I can put everything on that was on the Brixton so that is what I'm gonna do it's not my personal choice the wind cap and the passenger foot packs but yeah it's not my bike anymore I'm waiting for my new bike and <laughs> yeah I just want to make a video it's been a long time after some point it's difficult not making a video if you're used to making one every single week but at this point I'm just I just want to make videos uh, I want to get my new bike make a video on that ride around and it's it's, it's so frustrating if you don't have a bike uh, as a motorcycle rider yourself you will know this if your bike is in the shop or if you're waiting on a new bike it is terrible waiting for it so i'm just gonna put on the stuff that needs to be on there i'm gonna put the license plate in the back of it and the person will be all ready to start riding the brixton yeah it's a sad goodbye but it's going to a good home let's just get started if you want to see how to remove the, uh, that wind cap there's a link in the video description down below where i first deleted the wind cap if you want to check that out it's got a lot of views it's in my top three videos of my channel so it's a pretty good video the new look of the Brixton let's just get let's just get cracking now if I remember correctly I'm gonna have to loosen those two bolts and then the whole part should slide on so it's a pretty easy install you only need to loosen two. I don't know, it's 10 mil. It's gonna be 13 mil. Yes, a 13 mil. This will, when you loosen up those bolts, it will drop the speedometer, everything. But we don't want to take that off. The brackets are falling off. The brackets for the cable, at least the one on the right side let's loosen those two let's get the wind cap wind cap i don't know if this does a lot oh yeah because there is no one on that side we're gonna have to put the bracket on last let's see how this goes just like this yeah that's how it goes let's put this one first switch over to the other side get the nut and the bracket now let's tighten it up now the other side Okay, now the wind cap is back on. Not my personal choice of look for the Brixton. <laughs> I 
I feel it's I think it's kind of quirky it's not suited for the bike it's yeah it's not my choice but yeah so next up is gonna be the foot packs these ones for the passenger side well, for the passenger it's not really passenger side but I'm gonna put in the original bolts and I'm gonna put on some blue Loctite because I don't want to rattle them loose and yeah just for good measure so the left one goes right here there's a little tap so it doesn't get too loose but I'm just gonna put on some Loctite just for good measure if you install anything on your bike use some Loctite you don't want anything rattling off and losing it on the side of the road if the person doesn't like it they can still take it off no biggie little bit of force yes okay now do the other side now the other side is a little bit hard to see for you guys but it goes right behind the brake master cylinder for the tail for the rear wheel and the front wheel it's combined system just put a little bit of loctite on the bolt and there it is so now the new owner can take a passenger and he will sit right here man i never sat over it like this oh my god can you imagine sitting on the back side of a Brixton going 90 kilometers an hour yeah maybe we can wheelie it like this <laughs> no nah. so yeah so that is gonna be the final state of the Brixton how I pass it off to the new rider because I don't have a bike right now it feels a little bit sad giving it away not giving it away they paid me now just handing it off to a new person yeah it's it's weird we had so many great memories with this bike we did so many videos oh, all the videos that I made this is gonna be a, I hope the new bike is gonna be as big on my channel as the old one the Brixton I hope so it's pretty annoying when you don't have a really good video idea to work out. Uh, yeah, still waiting on the new bike, still waiting on new weather, still waiting on stuff to do. Been sick, better now. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel to see more videos of the Brixton and my new bike. And yeah. See you in the next one. Get down.